Our Great States, What's Great About West Virginia? by Sherry Dillard and Learner Publications, Minneapolis. West Virginia welcomes you. Welcome to the Mountain State. All of West Virginia is in the Appalachian Mountain Range and there's plenty of outdoor fun here. Explore gorges as you speed through whitewater rapids. On a sunny summer day, hike or bike the state's many trails. You can even zip line through forest. Come in the winter and ski or sled your way down a mountainside. Or ride a train around and over a mountain. You might even venture below the mountains to check out caverns and a coal mine. There are many fun ways to experience West Virginia. Black Waterfall State Park. Make your first stop here. This amazing state park has something for everyone. Do you like exploring woods? Hike the more than 20 miles of trails. Other fun options include fishing, camping, and boating. Then check out Black Water Falls. This impressive waterfall is 60 feet tall. It's also one of the most photographed places in the state. Walk out on a platform to snap the perfect shot without getting wet. If you come in the winter, Blackwater Falls is just as much fun in the snow. Travel the hiking trails on cross-country skis, then grab a sled. The Blackwater Falls sled run has been open since 1960. Snowmaking equipment makes every day a sledding day. Hop on the wander carpet conveyor and be whisked to the top of the hill with your sled. Once you reach the top, zoom down the .25 mile sledding trail. Then jump back on the conveyor and do it all again. Do you need a break from sledding? Enjoy hot drinks and homemade soups and stews at the warming hut. Cass Scenic Railroad State Park. All aboard! Hop on a real steam train at Cass Scenic Railroad State Park in Cass. The steam whistle shrieks as you start to move. Watch clouds of black smoke float by as you pick up speed on your way up the mountain. Bring your friends and family. You can reserve an entire train car for the group. Each car can seat about 35 people. Remember to bring a jacket because the mountain air blowing into the car is cool. The Cass Scenic Railroad travels on the same line that brought wood to sawmills more than 100 years ago. The train's first stop is Whitaker Station. It is an area built to look like a logging camp from the 1940s. Don't miss the Lidgerwood Tower Skitter. This huge machine carried giant logs out of the woods. The second stop is Bald Knob, one of the highest points in West Virginia. Cass Scenic Railroad State Park also rents out equipment for tubing, fishing, and biking along the nearby Greenbrier River Trail. Railroad History Have you ever played the board game Monopoly? The B&O Railroad space is named after the Baltimore and Ohio Railroad. It's the oldest railroad in the United States. In 1852, the B&O Railroad line was finished. Much of the route was in West Virginia. Railroads created paths to the mountains. This made it easier to get important natural resources such as lumber and coal out of the mountain area. Hatfield-McCoy Trails West Virginia has many trails for walking, biking, and horseback riding. But the Hatfield-McCoy Trail System has a different type of trail in nine southern West Virginia counties. These trails are perfect for dirt bikes, ATVs, and utility task vehicles. All of these vehicles are driven off-road and lots of fun. Rev up and ride on more than 700 miles of off-road rails. You can rent a vehicle or bring your own. There are also guided tours of the trails. The Ivy Branch Trail allows bigger vehicles such as Jeeps and trucks. If you are at least eight years old, you can ride as a passenger. Buckle up, it's sure to be a wild ride. The Hatfields and the McCoys. In the 1800s, the Hatfield family lived in southwestern West Virginia. The McCoy family lived in eastern Kentucky. The two large families were involved in a feud. People tell different stories about how the feud started. One theory is that the families were on opposite sides during the Civil War, 1861 to 1865. Another tale includes a stolen pig. But however the feud started, it became very violent. Several family members were killed in fights. Others ended up in jail. People in West Virginia still tell stories of the family's historic feud. New River Gorge National River. The New River is actually very old. Many scientists think it's one of the oldest rivers on Earth. 
The New River Gorge National River is a 53-mile section of the river. Whitewater rafting is popular here. Visit Adventures on the Gorge for rafting. Hop in a raft for a gentle trip down the river. If you're a thrill seeker, try the part of the river that cuts through the heart of the gorge. Huge waves and big drops take you on a wild ride through quick flowing sections and pass under the majestic New River Gorge Bridge. This fascinating bridge is one of the world's longest steel span bridges. On the third Saturday in October, the people of West Virginia celebrate Bridge Day. This is the only day of the year that you can walk across the top of the bridge. Will you make the 3,030 foot trip? Look down into the gorge. The river is 876 feet below. More than 80,000 people celebrate Bridge Day, which includes food, music, and a festival. Every day of the year, a catwalk below the bridge is open for walking tours. Exhibition Coal Mine. The Exhibition Coal Mine in Beckley is your chance to go below West Virginia's mountains. The Phillips Sprague Mine was a working coal mine from 1889 to 1953. It opened as an exhibition mine in 1962. Board a man trip for your ride through the mine. A man trip is a shuttle used to take miners into the mines. Be sure to stay in your seat. The mine roof is just above your head. The tour guides are real coal miners themselves. They tell you all about the dangers of coal mining and explain how coal miners blasted holes in the mountain to bring out the coal. The temperature in the dark mine is always chilly. Bring a jacket. Before you leave, stop by the Exhibition Mines Coal Camp. Here you'll see what life was like for miners in the early 1900s. The miners lived in the coal camp with their families. The coal company owned the buildings, including homes, a store, a church, and a school. You can tour the restored school, church, and homes. What is coal? Coal is made up of plants that lived millions of years ago. As the plants died, they started to break down. Over time, layers of dirt, mud, rock, and water buried the dead plants. Pressure and heat caused the layers to physically change, turning the layers of material into coal. Coal is used for many things. It can be burned to make heat and electricity. It is also used to make steel and energy. Clay Center for the Arts and Sciences. Before going into the Clay Center, walk through the sculpture garden. Artists from around the world show their work here. Inside the center, more than 9,000 square feet of galleries fill the building. The art gallery has works by well-known artists such as Andy Warhol and Pablo Picasso. If you're a science lover, check out the center's Avampato Discovery Museum. Live science shows are held each day. The museum is filled with hands-on science exhibits too. At Milton Gardner's Earth City, explore the forces behind tornadoes and geysers. And don't miss the Electric Sky Theater with its domed screen. Sit back in your seat, then look up. The giant screen will make you think you're in a real volcano or ocean. Finish your visit with a journey through the galaxy at one of the center's planetarium shows. Timber Trek Aerial Adventure Park. Adventures on the Gorge's Timber Trek Aerial Adventure Park in Lansing offers an exciting way to explore West Virginia. It's a playground in the treetops. You'll cross bridges and speed down zip lines. Swings and platforms help you work your way through the trees. The highest platform is 50 feet above the ground. Crawl through wooden tunnels and walk across a chain bridge. It's a self-guided course. Go as slowly or as quickly as you want. Take to the trees at night. Challenge yourself to the same course at night on the moon trek. Stringed lights line the bridges as you crawl through the course. Good Zoo and Benedum Theater. Good Zoo and Benedum Theater in Wheeling really is a good zoo. See bears, meerkats, red pandas, and other fun animals. At the Discovery Lab, you'll see smaller animals like salamanders and poison dart frogs. And you can watch movies and videos about nature in the Benedum Theater. Then head outside. You can explore the zoo by train. A one and a half mile track loops around the park. In the Wonders of Wetlands section, you'll see cranes and bald eagles. You'll find friendly goats, pigs, and donkeys in the Red Barn. 
Be sure to sign up for the Animal Encounter. This program lets you join a zookeeper during feeding time. Help the worker feed and train the animals. You can choose to help out with lemurs or river otters. Finish off your day by visiting lorikeets in the lorikeet landing. Ghost Tour of Harper's Ferry Harper's Ferry is a town with a lot of history and many ghost stories. The Ghost Tour of Harper's Ferry is one of the oldest ghost tours in the United States. People have been taking this tour for more than 40 years. Bring your flashlight. Prepare to be spooked as you explore the town of Harper's Ferry at night. The tour is based on Shirley Doherty's 1977 book, A Ghostly Tour of Harper's Ferry. Doherty was spooked by scary events that happened in the restaurant she owned. She wanted an explanation. As she researched, she learned that many townspeople had their own spooky stories, enough to fill a book. One spooky story involves Harper's Ferry's St. Peter's Catholic Church, which towers high above the town. During the Civil War, this church served as a hospital. It is said that one soldier who died in the hospital still visits and can be heard speaking. John Brown. In 1859, a man named John Brown led a raid in Harper's Ferry. Brown was a white abolitionist. He wanted to put an end to slavery in the United States. He gathered 21 men who felt the same way. Then, on October 16, 1859, he and his men attacked a building that was filled with weapons. His goal was to give weapons to slaves so that they could fight against slavery. His plan didn't work. Many of his men were killed, but Brown's actions led others to think about whether slavery was right or wrong. Snowshoe Mountain. If you visit West Virginia in winter, bundle up. Then head to Snowshoe Mountain in Pocahontas County. This ski resort has more than 250 acres of snowy winter fun. Check out some of the resort's 57 skiing and snowboarding trails. Easier runs are available for beginning skiers. After skiing, use a snowmobile to explore other areas or head to the Coca-Cola Tube Park. This tubing hill is six stories high. For something a little different, take a tour of the trails on a snowcat. The slopes can get choppy and messy over time. On this tour, you'll see how workers use snowcat trucks to keep the snow perfect for skiing. The workers can even make snow if they have to. You'll visit the Snowshoe Compressor House. See the equipment they use to turn the water from Shaver's Lake into snow. Your Top 10 now that you've read about 10 awesome things to see and do in West Virginia, think about what your West Virginia top 10 list would include. What would you like to see if you visited the state? What would you like to do there? If you'd like, you can even turn your list into a book and illustrate it with drawings or pictures from the internet or magazines. Thank you for reading with Mrs. Roberts.